Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation. We have x to the power ln x equals ex, and we're going to be solving for x values. Now, I'll be presenting two methods, even though the methods are very similar, they still represent two slightly different approaches. Okay, first method, I'll be ln both sides. When you ln both sides, you get the following. We have ln x to the power ln x equals ln ex. So we're going to go through two methods and then at the end I'm going to show you a graph. Graph is kind of interesting. So ln x is a power. So by using properties of logarithms, we can go ahead and move it to the front. This gives us ln x times ln x equals ln of ex. We know that the logarithm of a product is the sum of the two logarithms. So this can be written as ln e plus ln x. Quick note, ln e is log e with base e. It's equal to 1. So this is equal to 1. And ln x multiplied by ln x is basically ln x squared. So this gives us the following equation, which can actually be turned into a quadratic. So let's go ahead and write it this way ln x squared minus ln x minus 1 equals 0. Do you smell the golden ratio? You should. Now we're going to go ahead and replace ln x with u, the letter u, and then this becomes u squared minus u minus 1 equals 0. So that's a quadratic in u, and its roots are u equals 1 plus minus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now, here's the million dollar question. Are both solutions valid? Because one of them is negative, right? 1 minus root 5 over 2, obviously. The other one is positive, and we're dealing with logs. But guess what? We're not ln u. Ln, u is ln of something, so that's possible. It's not in the domain, it's in the range. So we can write this as ln x equals 1 minus root 5 over 2, that's going to give us one of the solutions. If you think about the definition of ln, this is base e. So we can kind of write it as e to the power something. So x can be written as e to the power 1 minus root 5 over 2. And if ln x is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2, and yay, golden ratio, you can write x as e to the power golden ratio. I know some people use a symbol. Is that a phi? Is that a phi? Whatever, something like that. But anyways, those are the solutions. And we're going to look at the graph at the end. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method real quick. My second method is very similar, like I said earlier, but it's still considered a different approach because you're not aligning both sides. If you don't like to align both sides, you can go ahead and do the following. You can set ln x equal to something. Let's set it equal to t. What happens to x? Well, if you use the definition of logs again, you get e to the power t is equals to x, so we can write x as e to the power t, e to the power t to the power ln x, which is t, and now here we can replace x with e to the power t again. So we're basically multiplying two powers of e, so, and here it's power of a power, so we multiply the powers or exponents. This becomes e to the power t squared, and the right-hand side becomes e to the power t plus 1. The bases are equal so are the exponents. So we can get rid of the uh, bases and write this as t squared equals t plus 1, hence the golden ratio comes up again. So we can write this as t squared minus t minus 1 equals 0, just like before. From here we get two solutions, t equals 1 minus root 5 over 2, or t equals 1 plus root 5 over 2. And x values, since x is equal to e to the power t, this kind of gives you like a directly that gives you the value of x directly so some people might like this method even though at some point you had to use the definition of logs or some properties anyways that's unavoidable unavoidable you can write the x here as e to the power 1 minus root 5 over 2 and here you can write it as e to the power 1 plus root 5 over 2 so those are going to be the solutions just like before there are two solutions they're both valid and now let's go ahead and take a look at the graph which will validate our claim about getting two solutions. So we're basically graphing x to the power ln x, the blue one. Uh, by the way, that's kind of like interesting. It's not a parabola. It's a curvy, but it's a really interesting curve that is not symmetrical. 
right? It's kind of like weird. As x approaches zero from the right, obviously you're approaching, y is approaching uh, positive infinity. Uh, and then, you know, as x approaches infinity, of course, uh, y is going to approach infinity. But that's kind of like a slow uh, sort of uh, increase. And uh, y equals ex is basically a straight line that goes through the origin. And these two graphs, no doubt about it, right? They're going to intersect at two points. And these are going to be the intersection point, which are the solutions for the our original equation. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.